Good morning, folks. The sun is waking up and the weather is worth watching worldwide. We've also got an interesting article out on earthquakes. But let's begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. It was not a calm day on our star. Solar flares continue to be on the rise and big CME activity is taking place as well. Let's start with the flaring. Now we're getting close to M-class eruptions, but before we see the eruption itself, we'll note that if we had to guess a couple days ago, we'd have said it would be this sunspot to fire, and if you asked us yesterday, we'd have said it was the new guy growing behind him. But look to the left at the south, where another is born and incoming now. It isn't as big as the other two yet, but he'll get there as the first one in the lead has stabilized. We'll need to monitor the spread of the central active region in the set, and down at the limb, may be small but it's got beta magnetism at least, and may be the most complex of the three. It was indeed the location of our near M-class X-ray flare event. This one won't be relevant for Earth, but we'll keep eyes on it for more. Coming over quickly to the northwestern limb, we see the big CME activity. Couple small ones and then the big boom a few hours ago, could couple in a few days. The biggest news from beneath our feet the last day was an explosive eruption near Kamchatka. The volcano sent smoke over 10,000 feet, and it released enough pressure to cut the Russian lithosphere alert in half. Top article of the last day is about four shock detection. Technically all blot echoes are four shocks, but they are non-local. We're discussing the same location and depth events here, and if we want to identify the seismic signals indicative of the four, main, and after shocks, this is a good place to start. Next, where it goes, Project Science, where the East Satellite got an incredible view of the winter storm and Earth spot cloud drive charging through the states. On the same day that the Washington Post remarked about the lack of November tornadoes, we told you yesterday to expect them, but to be honest, I wouldn't have imagined they'd all focus on Iowa. This is where the vortex action was found, even if the actual convergence zone was well south and was one of the most remarkable things we've seen on radar, like a plasma filament dancing across the Earth. And just like those can rip away from the sun and then reform in basically the same spot, that's kind of like how one convergence line exits but another spiral arm is right there behind him the next day. Hope you all caught that. App Founders. Apple gave us some shenanigans yesterday afternoon, so we're aiming for today on the release. We'll do Apple and Android together, so no worries. Your patience is appreciated, along with the nearly explosive excitement in some of your emails. By the way, I'm planning to do the December planetary geometry a few days early here. Sort of an asinine amount of planetary alignments coming up before the end of the year. Right now, we've got the rest of the pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.